My name is Susan Rosala. I'm the president of NetGalley. Um, does anybody, is anyone familiar with NetGalley or the service that we provide? Yes, no, some, okay. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what we do, um, who we are, why our service works, and then how you can find us. Um, I'll try to do all of that in this nice 20 minute package. Um, and then, you know, please feel free to stop by our booth um, at 610, X 610 afterwards, and I'm happy to answer any questions at all. So NetGalley is a service that provides digital proofs for a community of professional readers. Um, digital proofs are available securely on all tablets and devices, so everything from the Kindle family to the Apple family to Android tablets and devices to Kobo and Sony, so all the, all the devices that you've been looking at for the last couple of days. Uh, we work with professional readers, and professional readers are people who recommend books and who are book influencers. So everyone from book reviewers to bloggers to media people, librarians, booksellers, educators, um, professional readers are, are a huge community and a growing community. Um, there are currently 115,000 professional readers registered on the site, and 15,000 of those are based in the UK. So we launched in the UK last year at the London Book Fair, um, and we've seen our, our community just grow from then on. Um, we're working with over 200 publishers. Um, they are based in Australia and Canada, in, um, in the US and the UK. Okay. Uh, I forgot that I had that up there, um, our homepage. Um, and we just talk about that NetGalley is really a platform for book discovery. So book discovery can begin at NetGalley, where professional readers are connecting with content primarily before it's published or as it's being promoted. Um, and they can read it so that they can recommend it to their audiences. So we primarily have two tools. Members can request a digital proof from our catalog of titles that's available at netgalley.com, or they can be invited to view um, a title on NetGalley by a publisher who is using our e email invitation widget. Um, so it's a push and pull activity. So members can come to NetGalley or be driven there by the marketing that we're doing. They can browse on netgalley.com for titles that they're interested in, in a category that they're interested in, or view by what's trending as most requested or most popular and request a title, or the publisher can invite them. So the publisher can plug into all the activities that they're already doing on a publicity and marketing basis um, and include a secure digital proof as part of that process. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. So before we talk about the widget, I just want to talk a little bit about requests. So when someone comes to netgalley.com and says, I'm a professional reader, I'm a bookseller, I'm a librarian, I really want to review this book, I'm going to go ahead and request it. Um, in order to do so, they have to fill out a profile. And their profile tells you, as a publisher, their professional reader credentials. So let's look at those. Um, so what's in a profile? So when someone comes to the site and requests one of your digital proofs, what do you get to see? You get to see uh, their name, um, their country, their social media information if they've provided it, their member type. Um, you get to see a little algorithm that we've built. Um, you'll notice that there's a little score there. It's called their TAP score. So it's their title amplification potential. And that's a measure of their social media reach and their historical NetGalley activity. And it's designed as a tool to help you understand if this person has a, a great sphere of influence or if they're just a little bit influential. So it's a guide. Um, you can auto-approve that member. So you can say, this is someone really important to me. I'm going to auto-approve all of their future requests so that whatever they request from the catalog of mine, they get immediately. Um, I sort of liken this to fast track at the airport, right? You know you want them in your country, so you're going to just go ahead and wave them through the line. And that's exactly what you're doing here. Um, you can view their historical activity across all publishers for the entire life of their NetGalley account.
So you'll notice that Karen here has been approved 275 times across all publishers for all of the titles that she's requested. She's been invited to view titles. She's provided feedback um, to publishers about the titles that she's read. And she's been declined a small number of times. So the idea is that you can see how your peers are treating this particular professional reader contact, right? Are they generally approving them? Do they think that they have influence or are they declining them? And then you can use that to guide your own decision. Um, you can view more information that I couldn't fit on this screen, which includes the categories that they're interested in, the professional associations that they're members of, and a brief bio that the member has provided. Um, and then finally, you can also view your own history with that member. So you can see, OK, well, Karen's been approved 275 times across all publishers, but how many of my titles has she recommended? How many of my titles has she actually clicked on to read, and how has she chosen to read them? Um, so you get a lot of information about how, who you're approving or declining. And the idea is that you're tapping into this platform where members are coming to request and discover new books. And you're adding these people to the relationships that you already have to promote your book. So your publicists are reaching out and cultivating relationships with the members on NetGalley by starting on the site. So we talked a little bit about requesting. I want to talk a little bit about the widget. So uh, up on the screen, um, on this cover, the qualities of wood, that's what a widget looks like. Uh, it's a fancy word for a pre-approved link to view this title on NetGalley. Um, I think the widget is by far the most powerful tool that we have because it can be used everywhere in the activities that publishers are doing every single day to promote and market their titles. So you can use it in pitch emails. I've just been on the phone with you. I'm so glad that you want to interview my author. I have no more print proofs left, but I can email you a widget right now. Um, or it can be used in your library marketing activities. You know, we say that librarians are the original recommenders. Um, and we know that publishers think that it's better and better to interact with librarians to help them view and preview their titles. Um, your sales reps can use the widget when they're meeting with book selling or retailing accounts. Um, your rights people can use the widget when they're pitching to foreign rights agents or they want to get a manuscript to someone as quick as possible. Um, so everywhere that you're already talking about your book and promoting your book, you can put our widget so that someone can immediately access the title and start reading it. So what happens if you send this to me and I click on it? Um, it doesn't matter if I'm a member of NetGalley. It doesn't matter. You can either log in if you are a member. And remember, there's a lot of people that are, right? 115,000 members are already using this service. So if you send me a widget and I'm already using this service, I can just log in. If you send me a widget and I click on it and I say, what's NetGalley? I can register for this free service and start making it a part of my everyday reading life. Once I log in, what do I get to see? you have a ton of information about the title. So you have basic metadata and information, marketing information. You can access a digital press kit if the publisher has opted to upload one. So that might be a YouTube video of the author speaking, or a Q&A, or a press release, or a high resolution author photo. Um, you can read the book. So you'll notice uh, this is one of the few places that I think you'll ever see uh, Kindle next to download, right? So we support all major reading devices and tablets. So you can click on the download button um, to access this title securely on all devices except for the Kindle. We're using Adobe technology to do that. Um, or you can send this title to your Kindle. Um, and we're working with Amazon so that the titles that originate from NetGalley and are sent to a person's Kindle have Amazon's DRM applied to them. Um, so what are, however your readers want to access this digital proof, they can. So next to the green reading buttons, you'll notice that there's also a title feedback button. So after you're done learning about the title and you're reading it, you can also review it. You can provide feedback to the publisher. This is a private sharing function that we have between the publisher, um, between the member and the publisher. So this might be, I'm reviewing this title on my blog and here's a link to the review. Or it might be a librarian saying, I, I can't wait to add this to my collection. Or it might be an educator saying, I hated this book and it's awful for my course. But it's information and feedback that you can have at your disposal. 
The best thing about the widget is that it works. So when you send someone a widget, they're twice as likely to read your title than if they request it and are approved for it. And this makes a lot of sense, right? Because it's why publicists and marketers are good at their jobs, because they recommend books that people want to read. Um, and good publicists do that all the time. Um, I have an example up here just of um, a, a program that St. Martin's Press does um, where they are actually every season or every time they add new titles to NetGalley, they're including widgets and they're sending this to their big mouth list. So instead of just saying, here's these upcoming titles from our press for June or July or September or this great new mystery line that we have, you can click right through to read those and start providing feedback and accessing them at that moment. So there's less friction between, can you send me a book? Yes, I sent you a book. It didn't get to you, right? Um, it makes it easier. Just another example of announcing your list with NetGalley. Um, I wanted you to see that that just wasn't one example. There's many pu publishers that are, that are using the widget in their everyday activities. Major media are definitely using NetGalley. Um, just as in the non-digital world, they're not as often requesting titles as being invited to view titles by publicists. Um, but one of the services that we provide is that we make sure that when people are trying to access a title on NetGalley, they can do so successfully. And support and service are a big piece of what we do because we know that there's still too much friction in the digital reading process. But we also know that this is a resource that members are going to come back to many, many times. So most of the people that visit at our site do so nine or 10 or 15 times per month. So it's a resource that they're invested in as a professional reader. So NetGalley works. Um, you know, when I started uh, this project maybe six years ago, I think we had about 10 professional readers on the site. It was a very lonely day when I would look at our web statistics. Um, but when I look at it today, we're averaging about two and a half million page views every single month. Um, our traffic in the UK is growing. Um, we've just added a UK community manager to our team um, to help to support the growing number of UK publishers and readers that are using our service. Um, there are about 100,000 clicks to read on our site every month, so people who are trying to access our content that is loaded by publishers um, through NetGalley. Um, I mentioned this before, but just about 80% of the people who visit our site do so more than once per month. Um, and they don't just do so twice or three times. They do so nine or 10 or 15 times. Um, and what that tells me is that this is a highly engaged and focused community of book recommenders and influencers that see NetGalley as a resource. Our catalog is small, so we're working with 200 publishers, but it's generally pre-publication titles. So as they're published, they're archived off the site. So that means that when you go onto NetGalley and look at a category, you're not seeing 10,000 titles. You might be seeing 100, and it changes every day day or every hour as new titles are being added and old titles are being taken off. So it means that each title gets a lot of visibility to professional readers who have a reason to come back and see what's changing all of the time. Um, the last statistic here is just that about 15 to 20 percent of our monthly traffic is driven to the site by the marketing that we do on behalf of our publishers. So we know that it's equally our job to work with our publishers to make sure that people keep coming to the site and discovering content there. Um, and we do a lot of it. Um, so through social media, um, through Tumblr, through Facebook, through Twitter, but also through direct marketing that we do. Um, just an example of some of the marketing that we do. So we have a variety of different programs. Those might be genre-based. So people who have identified, expressly identified an interest in a particular genre can uh, be alerted to new titles in that particular genre through the marketing that we do with our publishers. Um, or it might be an exclusive promotion for members. Um, we're starting to see some really creative things. It's probably hard to read on this particular slide, but this is um, a title from Simon & Schuster in the US, uh, an Walking Disaster, which is a follow-up to Beautiful Disaster, which is a really popular book. So they had uh, a limit. And the first 250 people who would request this title would get it. Um, and that took about 10 minutes. Um, it's really popular, you know, and it was great. It was a lot of fun to work with them on, and then it changed to request. So it was a way to kind of um, ferret out the demand for it and to make it fun and to make members really engaged in that promotion.
And that's not right for every title. You know, we have plenty of academic publishers who are using NetGalley for course adoption. Um, they're not quite getting 250 hits in the first 10 minutes. Um, their model is different. But I think the tool is versatile enough to support many different genres and many different types of content um, and to do that in a, in a pretty elegant way and an easy way. Um, I mentioned this before, but I think it's good to show pictures. Um, so we support all devices and tablets. Um, and we help people in getting their content on those devices and tablets. Um, I can't underscore you know, how important it is to have a good service and to help people be successful in accessing content digitally, because that's what makes them want to read digitally and to not be scared of it. Um, and I think that there's always an element of fear in everything digital um, that we're doing these days. Um, and so we, the service component of what we do through our knowledge base, through the direct support that we provide, through having a person um, you know, managing our UK community, managing our US community is really important and I think has been really key to our success. Okay. So this is us. We're in the digital zone, um, 610. I'm happy to answer any questions right now. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention to the time, so we may not have any time. Um, but thank you for your time, and uh, I hope to talk with you in the future. Thanks. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions? If you're still listening, the question was, can a member share their proof? Um, no. I mean, that's I, it, the DRM that we provide on the files means that they can't be copied or printed or forwarded. Um, and so there are two types of, of security that we have. One is on the file itself so that it can't be distributed. Um, and one is on access right, to the file itself or to the title record. So as the publisher, you're in complete control of both of those elements. So it can be entirely private, never available on netgalley.com, or very, very open. Everyone can read it. So I think you know, that's part of what works for that particular title and how that works. That makes sense? Yep. Okay.